Maybe some food to the exit. Yeah. Oh, a newborn new called. Conium. Yeah. Everything okay? Where am I? There you go. That's Say gross. Again? What happened to me? The second you left the distribution center, the storm blinked out, just like that. Chiral density dropped almost as fast. I got caught in the storm, and I was in a war zone. You've been daydreaming, Sam? Comms were only down for a second. No, it was much longer than that. There was this soldier. He tried taking my BB. If you say so. <laughs> a little one can vouch for me. Sam? It's been less than a minute since we last spoke. I can't be right. I was there for... for hours, it felt like. Maybe you should rest a bit. How about the fact Never that you're mind. covered in blood? Coming to you. It's a shame I can't meet you halfway. Yeah, I know. You're good, right? Be careful, Sam. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing you. It's been a while since I've had company. Mm -hmm. Gonna find mama. You're crazy, nothing happened. Mm, I mean, things could have happened, and I'm not crazy. Like, Sam, proceed to mama's lab. Mama was part of the Cupid RD team. However, from the start, she had concerns about its long term viability. Felt Cupid's had fundamental flaws. Which might explain the strange phenomenon you experienced, and the spike in chiral density. You should pay her a visit. See what she has to say. Alright, let's go drop some stuff off. Decontaminating suit. All clear. Welcome on Porter Bridges. Keep on keeping on. Okay. Uh boop -ba boop. What do I need? We need uh, we, I need to recycle some things. Let's do that first. I have some things that are used up. You, 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 you. And then I have some guns that are pretty much out of ammo, right? You have one ammo? Yeah. Eh, that's only got... Eh, it's got three left. It should be fine. That blood bag's been partially used up. Or no, that's just the damage. It's still full. Okay. These boots are damaged, so let's get rid of those. That shotgun's got a ton of ammo. That's the grenade I used. This assault rifle's got ammo. This one's got like nothing, so let's recycle that one. All right, we'll go with that. It's done. All right, we need to. I guess there's orders for Sam here. A fresh pizza delivery from South Knot City. Why you gotta be like this game? Pizza time. Uh, fine. I need to head up to Lake Knot City anyway to deliver that memory chip that I didn't want to do before. Singing the Krusty Krab pizza. Tis the pizza for you and me. Right, we'll load that carrier. Pizzas should always be kept flat during transport. Thanks, Dad Man. As in level with the ground, to be clear. Keep that in mind before you try to stuff one in a backpack. It's gonna Otherwise, get... your life... it's going to go into my truck. Relax. Alright, we stuffed a bunch of stuff into my bag. I'm gonna put you into the truck. 
keep a ladder and a climbing anchor on me. I don't need an extra blood bag so that I can go people. I'll hold on to the rest of this stuff, I think. I got two blood bags on my suit too. I don't need those. Vehicle. Vehicle. And I've got a shotgun and an assault rifle. I think I only need one. So let's put the gun in there. I need more hematic grenades, so I should... What is not being carried? Okay. I need more hematic grenades. I didn't want to do it. I didn't say that I didn't want to do it. I just... I'm annoyed that I have to go so out of my way to do it. Alright. Humatic grenades. Where are you at? Humatic grenades. Give me two more. One in there, and the other one's gonna go in my tool rack. Okay. Confirm! Alright, time for the next pizza delivery. Hopefully it's not too much of a pain. I also am not sure exactly where Mama is. Mama is over there. Hmm. How far is she from me? I'm gonna be like passing right by her and then leaving because I'm delivering a fucking pizza. <laughs> Fine, I have my priorities. Feel pain, Sam, feel Sam's pain. See, if I was if I was actually in Sam's shoes, I would say, no, I'm not delivering you a pizza. Sorry. I have life-saving equipment I need to be delivering, not your friggin' second pizza. around it. This looks like it it's ruins, so you'd expect BTs here, but it's not raining, so I guess it's safe, but the terrain is not even at all. of a drive ahead of us. I, is anybody watching? I don't know. That's a good question. As a reminder, Sam, when carrying deadly weapons, it's absolutely essential that you exercise restraint. Doubt I need to say it, but killing is off the table. More corpses means more BTs and potentially more void outs. If you kill anyone, you'll be putting not only yourself, but countless other people at risk. There you go. There's there's the drawback for killing people. I am going to avoid killing people whenever possible. It was kind of unavoidable in that dream because they were only giving me lethal weapons. But... I don't understand what that means, vehicle destroyed by a considerate BT. I think this area is still mule free. Never mind. 
Definitely still, it definitely has mules back in it. I am watching. You are watching too. <sighs> I feel like I've made this drive of this section so many times already. I think that's the ruins of my bike that I see down there. I think anyway. I, I don't know how long things like that stay there. Try jumping over a crevice. My bike decided that it wasn't didn't want to let me. Beginning scan. Weapons restrictions. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges. ID. Verifying ID. Weapons restrictions. All right. Keep heading down. We should be able to find a road pretty soon. Let's go along the road. I do want to grab these ceramics, if I can. Yeah, that's right. Never gonna find me. Oh, is this the corpse? Is this the, the, the guy? No, he looks like he's, he's, he looks dazed. That looks like the dazed symbol. I'm gonna, I'm going to assume he's not dead. I ran him over earlier. Yeah, that's the same symbol as when I when I bind them. So I'm gonna assume he's just sleeping. And nobody can tell me otherwise. I do not like where you placed this bridge. Not gonna lie. There's the road. Okay, let's see if I picked up enough ceramics now to finish this. Ooh. I think I have exactly enough. We did it. The road is made. Go for it. I don't know how much road this adds completing this. I don't know how far that goes. I guess we'll find out on the way back. Hopefully it's decently far considering how much material I had to put into it. I don't think it's that far. <laughs> I think it ends at the top of that hill. Well, that's a rip off. Right. Thankfully, from here to Lake Knot City. We can. Pretty much just get a straight shot, although I'm not going straight to Lake Knot City. I have to go deliver a pizza first. We'll follow the road pretty much up to Lake Knot City and then we'll veer off. Mind your own business. I think I'm gonna veer off here now. Do not tip over truck, I swear.
not sure if my truck were to flip over if it would be like Halo where I can press a button and flip it over or if it would be like GTA and the truck is just completely ruined. Okay, we've made it. It took me, I got this pizza here in under nine minutes. Enjoy it. God, I'm wasting my time. Ask delivering freaking pizza. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. Can't even bother Good to work. to thank me in person. Disappointing. All right, I have to go to Lake Knot City now, which is thankfully just over the horizon. Get to Lake Knot City, and then we have to. All the way back down to Mama's lab. A toast to a porter, good and true. Yeah, you give me a toast. I worked hard for that pizza. You did nothing. You just used your fingers to order it. Is this shallow enough? Yes, it is. I love the truck. This truck is one of the best things that they've given me in this game. It makes my life so much easier. scared that I was going to tip over. I don't want to sit here and gather every single piece of lost cargo for Lake Knot City. So it's the last one. Hey, hey, hey. That's a hundred medals. God, I'm such an... I, I waste so much time. It's fine, it's fine, everything is fine. Put it in the truck. The medals are going towards building roads anyway, it's for a good cause. The problem is that I need ceramics. That's the main thing that I'm short on. Oh, that's somebody else's truck.
There you go. Skip. Hey, Sam. Good to see you. The legend does it again. Yeah, I do. Everything looks to be in perfect condition. Thank you, Sam. I got a new reverse strike. Cool. I can now disable sensor poles. Interesting. Okay, that's pretty cool. Until Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further Hello. information. All right, <clears throat> I have a lot of mail. Let's read a few more. I think it's time for me to read more. Oh, uh, God. Uh, take a dip in some hot springs. Feeling tired, Sam? Wouldn't blame you. After all, you're not a machine. You need breaks and whatnot. Lucky for you, I know the perfect place. Some hot springs, a hop, skip, and a jump northeast of where the junk kneelers hold up. The crater digestive baths, as I believe they're called. Good for getting the bowels moving in case you're backed up, but the waters are also good for general aches and pains. Miraculous healing properties apparently does wonders for a stressed BB even. Not one that's suffering from auto autotoxemia, though, obviously. Anyway, you should give it a try sometime. I'm sure that if I find them, maybe. Okay, order delivery for a prepper. Sam, I got a delivery request for you. There's a prepper out there who's got a special talent. Calls herself a cosplayer. Oh, I already did this one. Uh, I already did this. Yeah, that's fine. And I just did this mission, too. Thanks for delivering the prototype. I heard you delivered the samples we provided. Thanks for that. We really appreciate it. I know it was probably weird for you, me and her being separated and all. And I'm not going to pretend I wasn't a stupid asshole about, well, everything. Anyway, I just wanted to say that we're grateful. I just hope that stuff comes in handy one day. By the way, we've got a few more designs we're working on, so if you like the look of that kit, drop by our shelter for a gander. Hopefully the things we're working on will prove useful. If not to you, then to someone else. We got married. How are you holding up, Sam? You must have walked more than a thousand miles by now. Try not to let it get to you. I'm sure it must be lonely work. Well, anyway, I wanted to get in touch and tell you that we, well, we got married. I know, I know, who gets married in this day and age, right? But through the chiral network, we got in touch with a priest, and we said our vows, and that was it. Silly, maybe, but it seems to have brought smiles to a few faces, so thanks for making it possible. We owe you more than we can say. Dear Sam, wonderful news. My daughter's getting married. Oh, though you've probably been wondering, we're not related at all. I've never even been married, let alone had any kids. I took her in five or so years back after her parents died. She could barely speak a word of English. Her parents had been Japanese, but we managed in our own way. It's funny. Until the moment we met, I thought I was destined to live out my life all alone. But as soon as I laid eyes on her, that changed. I knew in my heart that I had to protect her, make sure no one ever hurt her. Though I ended up doing that myself by being too overprotective in the end. I've tried to make up for it. My daughter's leaving the nest at last, and I couldn't be happier for her. All I can do now is pray and hope for the best. And uh, I'd be awful grateful if you could look in on her and her husband from time to time. Just make sure they're doing okay. I tried toying with that tablet you brought me. Such a flimsy, cheap thing, and yet it was capable of displaying all manner of video and imagery courtesy of my contract with Bridges. I suppose it could be useful in some respects, but the experience is ultimately lacking. I long for the halcyon days when people would pack themselves into movie theaters, when we'd laugh together, cry together, jump in fright together, when cinema was a communal experience. But then came the tyranny of the tablets, which reshaped how media was shot. All dramatic close-ups and cliffhangers designed to draw you into the next installment. Bah. It was a far cry from the golden age of film, from when the silver screen reigned supreme. I tell you, I was born a century too late. Alright. Oh my god, there's so many things. I'll read more. I'm, I've got to, like, resolve to read, like, more every time I stop at a center. It's the only way this is ever going to get under, like, I'm ever going to catch up. All these people are using the road I rebuilt. 